So I was walking around Walmart today trying to find some toilet paper, but I came across some world's smallest mystery collectibles instead. There were 10 left, so you know I had to buy them. Because we have yet to find a world's smallest SpongeBob, and today that's what we're trying to do. I swear to God, if we find another Care Bear, I'm gonna lose it. So yeah, welcome to today's video where we're opening world's smallest mystery... As I was saying, welcome to today's video where we're opening World's Smallest Mystery Collectibles. Let's try getting two likes on this video so I can prove my middle school bullies wrong that I am a true successful YouTuber. And maybe three likes. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and open these. Ah! Come on, man. Just give me a sponge ball. If you've been following my World's Smallest series for a while now, you would know that I'm sick of getting Kerplunk. It's it's the World's Smallest Kerplunk, okay? You take this, put it on the stand, you fill the balls in there, and then you take these little tiny sticks here, and you pull them out. First one to release the balls loses. But I don't need another Kerplunk! God! It's okay, we still have nine more. Ow! Paper cut or a cardboard cut is cardboard paper. Why do we call cardboard cardboard and not brown thick paper? Oh God, this is one of those stupid. I know exactly what this is the stupid sand things. I know by the shape. Let's guess the colors though green and purple No pink and blue. What is it called again a foam alive? Whoopie doo a foam alive just I didn't want it this isn't Spongebob, this is a board game. Let's say Monopoly. <gasps> oh, it's world's smallest Scrabble. And le this is legit Scrabble. Like it opens up to a full board. Where are the pieces at? Oh, right there. I mean, that is insane. Look at these little tiny pieces. That is nuts. I do like this one. I'm not gonna yell about the Scrabble because it's pretty cool. Oh my God, this is another board game. You can just tell instantly by the shape. When you've opened over a hundred of these, you just know. Yep, Monopoly. Literally, it is the world's smallest Monopoly game. Mono Monopoly game, how do you open it? There we go. You got this little board and uh, that that's your Monopoly game right there. Look at that, that's your board for the game. And you literally have all the pieces. You've got the money, you've got the full board. You even have the box to keep it in. How funny would it be to go on an airplane with one of these and just start playing a full on board game and it's just miniature and just have someone stare at you like, what is wrong with this dude? Me going on an airplane with just a bunch of mini things, a mini suitcase, a mini backpack, everything mini. Oh my God, that would be so funny. Five likes on this video, we do that. Got six more of these bad boys. Yeah. This one I feel like is not gonna be, Nope, it's one of the, oh my God, I know what it is. It's another one of those stupid foam lives. I mean, come on. Ah! Do they change it up at all? Do they just say, hey, we don't need to give out any SpongeBob's. We've got foam lives. No one wants a stupid foam alive. Dang it. I'm burpy today. Uh. This could be a SpongeBob. I, I don't recognize this. Ah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. We got Raphael. I got a little excited there. These are pretty sick too. Um, They're like world's smallest. Ninja Turtle in a little box and you can open it. But yeah, it literally comes out, but I would rather keep it in because it's a keychain. Like, why would you want to take it out? Four more. Eh, eh. Ooh, this is square. Is it a pizza pie? Mamma mia. We never got this. This is a first. It's a Miss Weather dress up set. What? I never got this one. And we've opened a lot of these. Oh, look at that. So there's stickers and you dress up the little girl with the stickers. I never got this one. Finally, for once we didn't get something we already have, which makes this video worth it. I think this video deserves seven likes now, but still no SpongeBob. Maybe it's because we're not wearing our lucky glasses. There we go. Come on. Oh no. Okay, wait. I thought it was another one of those foam alives. And yes, I know I look scary with these glasses on. You can see the ring light like I'm in a nightmare. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. Wait, oh my God, he was missing his face. Whoa, I put these glasses on. I said, these are our lucky glasses. And all of a sudden we get a SpongeBob. That honestly was unplanned and is honestly insane. Like at the beginning of this video, I threw them up. I dropped them. I re-put them. I had no clue. Okay, we got to put this face on. Look at that. I mean, that is scary, man. <laughs> wow. Out of all the SpongeBob things I could have found, this is the scariest. But I'm not complaining. We got a SpongeBob. Is that the one that's on the box? No. The one that's on the box is like cute, happy, chill SpongeBob. We got the demonic one. <laughs> like seriously, what? I have never seen SpongeBob look like this. 
this. Like, am I crazy for thinking this looks scary? Whatever. I'm happy. We got a SpongeBob. How cool is that? Put you right there, my friend. We got two more. Will these SpongeBob glasses come in handy again? I don't know. Ow. No, nope, we got a world's smallest Hot Wheels. Why am I sounding like Gary? As, as of Gary, Gary the snail was doing an impression of a Hot Wheels car. The Hot Wheels, that's actually pretty cool. It is what you've all been waiting for. The last one. This is heavy. Feels like it's gonna be a, a Care Bear. I don't know. No, no, no. You know what it is? It is, again, you can tell by the shape. You can tell by the shape. I don't even need to open it. Why? Ah! Stay down there. Okay, I'm sorry. Nobody needs this many stupid foam alives. There is nothing alive about this. It's boring. It's not fun. Oh my God. But hey, that was fun. We actually got a SpongeBob World Smallest Collectible. Finally. Before anything, I do want to remind you all that we have these wristbands back in stock that say, how cool is that? Because I say, how cool is that all the time? How cool is that? It says Brent TV on it right there. They're on my website at www.brenttelevision.com. Along with that, we have a lot of other fun stuff like stickers that come signed. I mean, who would want an autograph from this goofball? But hey, it's been requested, so we offer it. Once again, let's get two likes on this video to prove my middle school bullies wrong. You know who you are, bullies. And well, everybody, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for coming along on today's adventure. You all have a wonderful day. Ah! Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Yeah. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Uh, now he's opening a popsicle.